You know, sometimes I feel like I'm dreaming. I'm living here in Jerusalem. There's this freedom. And here I am on the rooftop, on the roof terrace of our house called Beit Chai. There's one time a year that everything changes in the city. It's called Pesach, Passover. For a whole week, the culture of this whole city changes. They start eating differently. Um, for a whole week, we don't have normal baked bread. For a whole week, we eat matzah, which is unleavened bread. You go into the shops and, and some of the shelves are just closed. There's no way to access it. Everything that has got leaven in it, you can't get to it. And, and a whole nation does this. Well, what is this leaven all about? Well, um, leaven is the type of sin. And it's like a whole nation is saying, let's live for a whole week in the natural to be without leaven, which we should be in the spiritual, without sin. And sin is the thing that takes us into slavery. So in this year to come, in 2016, we want to do something completely different with our Passover tour, with our Pesach tour. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Egypt and start there. Because Egypt is the type of slavery. Egypt is the, is the type of being in bondage. So we'll start there. People will fly in to Cairo, visit the pyramids, go on a Fuluka on the Nile, go to the, the church on the trash heap, Go and visit the bazaar and just experience Egypt. And then, after that one day in Egypt, you will say, let's go to the promised land. Then, the group will travel through the Sinai Desert and get to the Taba crossing between Egypt and Israel. We will receive everybody there into the promised land. Receive everybody into freedom. And that evening we'll have a biblical meal right there on the beach of Elat. That'll be a Shabbat meal. The next day we will start to experience this freedom, this freedom from slavery. And, and all along we're going to speak about how do we get rid of leaven? How do we get rid of sin in our lives? How do we get rid of this slavery from sin? And so that next morning we're just going to first take a trip with camels. We'll drive into the desert with the camels. Just you and your thoughts. You know, sometimes all the noises of everything that goes around us is so busy cluttering our ability to just hear what the Father wants to say to every one of us. And just like in Israel, when people stopped eating leaven, we should also then, during this whole trip, say, how do we stop eating that which we are eating spiritually? And how do we start eating something different spiritually? Let's not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, but let us eat from the tree of life. And so all throughout the tour, this will be the theme. Every place that we will visit will do that. After we've done the camel ride that morning, we'll go and, and experience the wonderful world of the sea. We'll go into the Red Sea, we'll snorkel, we'll see the fish. You know, those who don't want to snorkel can just stand there and see all the fish around their feet in the water. 
it is, it's just absolutely amazing. And we'll start looking at the principle of how important water is, the water of the word. From Elat, we will travel the next day, and we'll start traveling through the deserts. Because you see, it's in the desert where God deals with us. When we get into those desert situations in our own life, He deals with us about not eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, but eating from the tree of life. And so we will travel through some of the deserts that the Israelites traveled. We will even stop at the place where it is in the vicinity of where Moses raised up the serpent, that brazen serpent, because the serpents came and bit the people, just like the serpent, the devil came and bit us, and, and the poison of sin came into us that brought death to us. And when they looked upon that, they could become free, free from the death that would come in through the poison of the serpent. And so Passover is this festival of liberty. It's this festi festival of freedom. It's this festival of, of coming out of bondage and I want to I want to invite you to, to join us to travel along as we travel through the deserts we will travel past the Dead Sea we will see this big mass of water that is dead there's nothing that lives inside of it we'll visit a lot of places like Masada and Engedi and we'll float in the Dead Sea and, and, and we'll go to Qumran the place where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found and then we will end up and sleep at a place called Bereshit, Eretz Bereshit, Genesis land. It's, it's a place that shows us what the tent of Abraham must, be, must have been like. We'll have a meal and we'll be, be received by somebody that will play the role of Abraham and, and, and just have this extreme biblical meal and, and say, yes, just like Abraham, we've also decided to leave Haran. We've, we've decided to leave behind the bondage. We've decided, we've decided to leave behind the slavery. From there, we will travel north and we will go to the Galilee. And we'll go around the Sea of Galilee, which we call the Kinneret. And we will see the area where Yeshua lived, where he had his ministry. We'll, we'll go to places like Beit Shean and, and the place where, where Gideon was with the selection of the men. And we will look at how we can also obtain this, this faith to conquer the Midianites, to conquer those who want to keep us in bondage, the enemy. We will go to Megiddo where the last battle will take place and we will look at that battle also being fought in our own minds. We will go to Mount Carmel where we see how, how Elijah was fighting against the, the Baal prophets and the Asherah prophets and we will also look at how we can obtain victory because that's what it's about. It's a, it's a freedom, it's a victory, it's a festival of liberty this Passover 2016 we want to invite you come and join us we'll go to the north of the country and we'll look at at all of these sites like where Peter said to Yeshua you are the Messiah the son of the living God where we can take that and make it such a reality in our own lives we will then travel down and end in Jerusalem where Pesach will start, where this festival of liberty will start. We ourselves will, will participate in it. When we are in Jerusalem, we will experience Passover. And we'll have our Passover meal here. And we'll say, yes, let us remind one another of the fact that we ourselves have also come out of slavery. How can I become a witness of this freedom 
this is what the story is going to be about. It's not just about visiting sites. It's not just about the plus minus 60 places that you will see during that two weeks. No, it's about visiting yourself and saying, where am I? Am I in liberty? Am I in freedom? And when we are here in Jerusalem, it's like coming to that place of personal coming out of Egypt, personally obtaining freedom and liberty. So, are we entering our rest? I want to invite you, come and join us on this tour. Because it's more than a tour, it's a personal journey of coming into freedom and liberty. Come and enjoy being here in the heart, in the center of Jerusalem. And meet with the King of Salem, Yeshua himself. I want to invite you, come along, join me. Join me here in Jerusalem, Passover 2016. Now, if you want to do that, just write to the email address that you see right here on the screen right now. And we will send you all the information that you need to be able to come and join us in Jerusalem. This is my house now. Make freedom and liberty your house too. Pass over the threshold, enter in.